What is going on, my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. And in this video, we are showcasing one of the best ways to make money in Red Dead Online. Of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. But only if this video helps you make some money. Now, you must be wondering, like, Garrett, how would you know how to make money? Well, let me tell you, brother. Look at the top right. Let me... <laughs> ah, I'm rich, all right? I figured out the best ways to make money in Red Dead Online. A lot of it comes from you guys in the Discord. And some of it comes from my own little brain. That's right. I have a very little brain. But I was in the lobby the other day and I found about eight people hanging out in Blackwater. And I thought to myself, why would anyone want to hang out in Blackwater? And lo and behold, I found out that they were standing over here on that little piece of island or I guess a little ledge and they were fishing and I was like, fishing? Don't they know fishing was nerfed in the most recent Red Dead Online update? But what I didn't know is that the fish you can get here are quite impressive. Now I'm going to show you a little secret that I uh, that I sort of did in my tips and tricks video on how to join a private session. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to make the most amount of money, and it's honestly a great way to do the cougar method as well. So if you missed my other money making method with the cougar, highly recommend you check that one out because it complements uh, the cougar method pretty well. They go hand in hand. What I'm looking for right now is a horse. Just one dude on a horse. We saw one earlier. I lost him. It looks like oh there he is. All right. The goal here is I'm gonna I'm gonna rob this guy's horse hopefully he doesn't get mad i need your horse thank you very much you have a nice day and now i'm gonna get my horse to come with me this guy's probably gonna shoot at me he's really pissed and he's yeah he's okay he's he's gonna get over it don't worry he understands the reason why i stole his horse it's for the better of this video all right you should have at least two horses to maximize your potential when it comes to money now one other thing you will need is you need to visit a general store and purchase a lake lure if you go to your catalog in your like just from the fast access tab like if, if you this horse is running so weird by the way now if for whatever reason you just want to hold left and open your catalog on your d-pad you'll notice that you can purchase stuff in the fishing tab now the only problem with this is that you are not able to buy the lake lures with gold so you need to spend one gold bar for the lake lure and trust me dudes it's worth it you got free gold from rockstar make use of it or you could save it for a future endeavor whatever you want to do but this method will require you to have a lake lure now with the stolen horse you want to you want to lasso this bad boy you want to hitch him to the closest tree which is this one right here and uh for some reason this 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 horse is, is really weird he he is not he's not working with me right now can i can sir mr horse can i just put you right here for me I wanna there we go hitch the horse now the reason why i want to hitch the horse to the tree is just in case someone comes around here and wants to be a troll and they start shooting like crazy this horse won't be able to run away because he's lassoed to the tree now if you look in the water right next to me you'll see some little fishies little tiny fishies little fish there but look at this big fish right on the shore dudes that is what we want to see this right here now in theory if i were to run in the water right now and then run out of the water i could push the fish out of the water as you can see <laughs> Now, this doesn't happen often, and I'm really happy it did, but it's an easy way to make some money. So, if you come this oh, shoot. If you come to this location, and you want to make some easy money, you might get lucky with some of the fish here. So, come to this spot, grab this. Are you freaking kidding me? My dude is struggling. I'm just going to throw him right here on my horse, since my horse came to me. I'm going to stow this fish. Now, the leg sturgeon I just put on the back of my horse is worth about, I don't know, $7.25 each. Now, you're probably like, Garrett, are you freaking kidding me? I've been farming birds all day and I can get this one fish and it's worth, yeah, it, that's, it's that easy, dude. And since you're in the area, might as well kill all the seagulls here too, because they're pretty good money. I think they get about like a dollar to two dollars each uh, seagull. So it's not too bad. And on top of that, you also have more fish to fish in this water. So this is a really, really good spot to make some pretty good money. And if you have some friends, you guys can all come here because it's weird. Uh, the longer you're here, as you can see, the more fish spawn. And the more you turn around, the more fish will spawn on this side. And then on this side, it's... I don't know how this works, to be honest. But all I know is that there's like an infinite amount of fish that spawn here sometimes. As you can see, there's another big fish right here. And lo and behold, he's so close to the shore, I can just... <laughs> Wait, it didn't, it didn't work that time. I, I wasn't able to push him on shore. But when they do get close to shore, if you don't want to have a long battle with the fish, you can simply just force him on the, on the shore, which is pretty great. 
I think it's a really easy way to get him on shore. And is there any... Let's just go for this fish over here. This one's pretty close. If you don't know how to fish, I explained it before. You want to reel in slowly. And you want to wait for the fish, of course, to bite. Now, if you've never fished in real life, sometimes fishing can get pretty slow. And if you notice that there's no fish around you or biting by pressing uh, your right R3 and L3 in, you want to just reset your cast. Now, because I do have the lake lure attached, if you cut your line, you'll lose your lure. So never, ever, ever cut your line. It is not good. Do not do that. Sometimes these fish put up a fight. So you want to make sure. There you go. Here comes one. Here, there we go, baby. When they put up this fight, you want to hold your R3 and put and like move your left stick left and right. And to properly reel them in, you want to go in a clockwise motion. Um, make sure you look at the bottom right where it says reel in. If you reel in the wrong way, you won't catch the fish. On top of that, when the fish is struggling like he is right now, he's fighting me. You do not want to reel in. You simply want to move your rod left and right and then press your R3 down, like just press it down like this so that your line doesn't go out. You don't want him to go out because um, if, if you don't do that, then he's just going to keep going out further and further and further because you're not stopping your line. But as you can see, I'm catching him right now. Pretty easy. And he's resisting. He doesn't want to go out. I'm going to give you a nice little home, sir. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa, little fishy. Really easy. Oh, I just... Did I just lose all my stamina? And just like that, dudes, boom, just caught him. Now, in catching this fish, you want to keep him. And what you're going to do with this fish is you're going to simply put this one on the second horse we have. So as you know, I have my main horse. His name's Thanos. And then we have the horse we stole, which is right over here. And we're going to put this bad boy on the back of this horse. If you are in a free roam lobby... You do want to be careful of the trolls as anyone can just come along and steal your fish. Now you're probably wondering, Garrett, you have two fish. Where are you going? Well, I can actually catch a third fish. Now this third fish I'll be catching will not be going onto my horse or any other horse. It will simply be going in my hands. We're going to try to bring this one back on land. Uh, uh, yes. Wait, what? Wait, did you get that fish just survived? All right. That's it, brother. That's it. He's right here, so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to come. In the matter of a few minutes here, we have caught three lake sturgeons each coming out to cost seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Now, unfortunately, I cannot stow this one on my horse, but what I can do is I can actually bring my horse, bring my horse, and I can drop this one here, like so. Then I can get on this horse, I can ride to the butcher. Now it's sort of it's sort of hard because it's sort of ineffective in my opinion to to run with three. But because I did catch three, I can do this. Now, if you had three of your own horses, this would be much easier to do because, well, when you have three of your own horses, okay, I was about to say this horse better not run away. Um, when you have three of your, well, two of your own horses, you can you can whistle them. But I don't think in online you can actually whistle for your horse that's not yours. So. We're gradually making our way towards the butcher. I 100% think the most effective way to do this is by simply uh, just doing it with your horse and a secondary horse and not one on the floor because I have I can I can see like, I feel like I might be uh, wasting a little bit of time. It, it may not be the most effective way to get these little animals to the butcher, but we're gonna test it out right now. We're gonna, I mean, there's only one way to tell. I'm hoping I drop this here, nobody will steal it. No, that's that's the hope. The hope is no one steals my fish. And then we come to this bad boy and bring my horse over. And unfortunately, it looks like the fish despawned, which super sucks. It looks like the fish that I had on the floor actually instantly despawned, which is really, really, really stupid, but whatever. So we just tested it here live uh, in this recording. You need to make sure you just have two fish. Doing three fish is super ineffective, especially because one despawned. So now I got rid of the fish in my hands and now I'm gonna take off the, well, didn't mean to do that. I wanna take off the fish. I'm gonna take off the fish. Ooh, we could use a wagon actually. Maybe I should try it with a wagon. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that guy's wagon and see if that's effective at all. I don't think it will be. Because you saw how it disappeared when I wasn't there. So I'm thinking the same thing might happen if I have all the fish in the wagon. There's only one way to find out. Just to test it. So let's steal this guy's wagon. <laughs> yeah, listen, I got to speak to you. Uh, there's been a... Kill before, and I'll gladly kill again. Whoa, 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 dude. You may... ah! Oh, go. Hey, your wagon's leaving you, dude. We're going to drag this guy a little bit. All right, he's dead now. Now we're going to take his wagon. I feel bad. That's ruthless, dudes. By the way... A lot of you guys are probably wondering, Garrett, how did you, how is there no one killing you? I think I'm in a private lobby still. 
I made a private lobby earlier, and I think I'm still in the private lobby. Because I haven't seen anybody since we started recording this video. Which is pro- which is very rare. Very, very rare. Now, in theory, I could use this rock, but I think if the fish are over here, they're gonna despawn, and oh my god, it's so freaking foggy, I can't see anything. We're gonna go down here real quick, and I'm gonna see if I can park the cart a little closer to the water so that I can slide down into this cart. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, no! We killed that guy for no reason. We murdered that guy for no reason. Well, the plan is to get a cart, put it there, and then fall in the cart. Is there another cart coming maybe we can take? All right, let me find another cart. Hold on. In looking for this new cart, I found this little camp right outside Blackwater, and I noticed a lot of these little camps exist all throughout Red Dead Online. But funny enough, these NPCs will actually let you join their camp, and I'm actually slow. I, I just pulled up, took some of their coffee, and you can pour yourself a cup of coffee and get your cores back up. Drinking coffee gives you stamina and dead eye, so like this is easy, dude. I'm gonna put this in the next tip and tips and tricks video for sure because. You can just get free stamina cores without wasting any of your tonics or food. That's so easy and so great at the same time. Thank you guys for the free coffee. I appreciate it while I wait for this cart. This carts don't spawn in the nighttime, just so you know. They do, but not like as much. So I know I and look, I'm good at this stuff, right? What the? Oh, um, what? I found a cart. Did you guys see that? You guys had to have seen what just happened there, right? That was super weird. So I found a cart. It's now daytime, but we found a cart. Oh, God. Now the cops are being called. I am really bad at this thing. Horseback riding is not my expertise. Man, you guys, I waited over 20 minutes for that goddamn cart, and I just freaking ran into the water. My God, I'm a moron. I'm gonna find this cart. We're gonna test it so you guys don't have to. All right, the cart is returned. Come here, mister. Get off the cart. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna ride away as fast as possible without killing this horse. Murder? Who did I murder? What? I didn't murder. Did I run anybody over? What? This cart might work for the sheer fact that it's so small. I don't think the back actually opens, so we might be... This might be a really good way to, uh... Hey, there's a boat out there we could take. Ooh. Fun fact. You ever want a boat? There's a boat really close to land right there. You guys see it? What are there any steamboats in this area? Okay, now this time, I'm not gonna go super fast. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna park this cart in a good location. All right, we're gonna slow it down right here. Now, I'm thinking maybe we should back it up. Might be the best option here. You're probably asking yourself, Garrett, you have not ran into anyone this whole lobby. You've done more damage to yourself than anyone else. And that's true, my friend. That is true. Is this too high? I noticed there's a snake in the water. That would not help this, this little cart. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Let's say I have the fish in my hand. Ideally, I would come here. And then I would... Ooh, it doesn't work. Ooh, I think we found the spot. Got the fish. Drop them off right... Oh, that's so perfect. All right, let's test this out. Now, for this part, we're going to fast forward me catching all the fish and then just... Showing you the what happens after, all right? There's look at my there's so many fish here. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. Look at all these fish. Yes, come to Papa. Easy, brothers. Easy. That's one. All right, now we're gonna take this fish and instead of storing it on our horse, we're gonna put it right back here. Drop him right here. You. Yep. Oh, dude, that's so perfect. That is so perfect. All right, fast forward fishing. Go. All right, I just made a drastic mistake. As I was reeling in my fish, I cut the line. I just lost my lore, dudes. Rip in the freaking comment section, dudes. Ooh. Well, we got three fish in the back, so that's cool. So, uh, well, even though I made a drastic mistake there, I ended up, uh, we're walking away with three fish. So let's see if we can make it to the butcher and if they fall out or not. So far, so good. It looks like this is the wagon you should use for, uh, hunting too it looks like because this wagon doesn't open in the back like the other wagon so it's pretty good now i'm gonna sell each one i got one there and i got two more and for some reason whenever you use a wagon it always glitches out as you can see but it should be okay once you try to get back onto it it should just there you go it's respawning i think anytime i just go into the butcher it just takes a little while for it to get out i have one more fish underneath this wagon and there you go so i just made like 21 dollars and 75 cents with this wagon you guys saw 
saw that it spawns here. So I highly recommend you try this method at home with this wagon in particular as it works really well. So you have not done so already, try this wagon out, try this method. And uh, dudes, I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the brand new, oh no, later today with the brand new video. We upload three videos a day here. I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 5 p.m. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.